Hello guys, welcome back to another video. The release of Fab Epic Games' new Unified Marketplace came with a ton of issues, tons of bugs, and was missing a lot of basic features, things like customer review system, wish lists, or favorites, and it has no doubt impacted the seller marketplace in a negative way. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Fab roadmap that was just released in Epic's latest live stream. Basically, this will cover over all the different updates they're going to be bringing to the Fab marketplace. All the new features that they plan on fixing and adding to hopefully make it better than it currently is. Plus, we'll also be going over some of the updates to the Quixel Megascans roadmap, including some of the new future Quixel Megascan packs that are going to be added to the marketplace. Also, what is going to be happening to Quixel Bridge, I'll address all the updates to the Quixel Bridge plugin, along with some new free asset packs that are going to be free on the marketplace pretty soon. So with all of that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So first of all, we are here on the Fab roadmap map. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. But basically, this is currently what they are working on in adding to fab and it goes from left to right. So currently, they're working on the search feature right now, the search and discovery is pretty broken, you can't really find what you're looking for. And it has negatively impacted a lot of sellers. And in fact, a lot of people are saying that people aren't finding their products, people aren't purchasing any products. And so a lot of sellers on the website, their sales are all down because of the bad launch of fab itself. So they're going to be fixing things like the search and discovery. They're also going to be adding things like site-wide sales, so that would be really nice. But in addition to that, they're going to be working or reworking the discovery window. So as you can see, they actually modified what it will currently look like. Uh, some of the big changes are the fact that you can actually now see which asset pack is created by who. So currently you can see these are created by Quixel. These are Quixel asset packs. But if you head over to Fab right now, right now if you look at any of the asset packs, it's not going to show you who it's by. It just shows environments, the category, and the name. It doesn't show the actual seller name, nor if you actually own it. So like I own some of these samples, but it's not even showing that I own this asset. So in the roadmap update, they're going to show that you actually own the asset, who it's by. They're going to add some actual useful information along with things like reviews. So you can see we can see the, how many reviews it has and a new discovery tab here on the left. Also, Quixel is also getting an update in Fab itself. So you can see they have new filters that are specific to Quixel. So we have under the Quixel tab, we have a filtering tab on the top here instead of the right, along with the categories on the left, which is sort of similar to what they had in Quixel Bridge, but now they're bringing that to Fab. Now filters are also getting an update, so you can see they move the filter from the right, which is you know previously over here on the right. This is the filters tab. They're going to be moving that to the top, so it says top bar, along with a couple of other different filters. You can filter by style, filter version for formats and filter by creator. You can also have different filter types by licenses. And then next up, they have sorting and collections. So if you ever use Sketchfab before, basically you can group certain assets into different collections. So you can work on the website and group you know, asset packs into a collection of assets. And they're saying they wanted to add a feature where you can later on add that entire collection that you've organized into your Unreal Engine project. So you can sort of download it all at once. Now, next up, they're working on improving the download format on the web. So you can see we can download the different assets directly, as well as the previous file format. So they're going to add support to download previous versions for certain products, which will be nice. And then another huge update is they're going to be reworking the product page, which is huge. Uh, they're going to be adding things like reviews, also a built-in video player, which is, you know, about time. I don't think they had one on the Unreligion Marketplace. They didn't have a video player. In, in fact, just in the description, they had, you know, links to a YouTube video. So having our own built-in video player will be nice. Also going to be reworking the technical details. So things like the compatibility of the versions, the technical summary, all that stuff. Along with that, they're going to be adding comments. So they'll add a comment section under the actual asset, which will be very useful for uh, customers who are trying to figure out more information about the product. So the comment, I believe, will link and open up a form page where you can then comment about that particular asset. So it's not like directly on the website itself will actually take you to the forums discussion page. And then of course, they're gonna be adding things like a frequently asked questions or FAQ about the product itself. Next up, another requested feature that the Unreal Marketplace had, but they don't have on Fab currently is the wish list ability. So this was called favorites back on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. For some reason, they didn't add this feature to Fab when it released. And so everyone's favorite lists from the Unreal Marketplace just got randomly deleted. So that kind of sucks. 
But yeah, they're going to be adding, re-adding the wish list feature back to Fab, which is good to hear. But for whatever reason, they didn't add that feature on launch. And then finally, at the very end here, we're getting product reviews. I don't know why this is at the very end. I feel like this should be, you know, number one on the list. Pretty important for consumers to, you know, read reviews and ratings. So you see, this is what the ratings will look like. This is actually just a draft, so you can, maybe it'll look a little bit different than this. But you can see we have five star, four star ratings all the way up down to one. Uh, the different reviews, you know, comments about the product. Again, this used to be a thing on the Unreal Marketplace, and some people asked if they're going to be migrating the old reviews from the Unreal Marketplace. I think they're probably not going to be. I think right now they're just focusing on adding reviews as a future and then maybe down the line they'll add something like that but right now that's just what they're focusing on so we also have additional details for ratings so you can rate a product based on you know the quality and then lastly they have some other different things like adding seller tools and experiences you can bundle uh, certain products if you're a seller you can also add uh, refunds so if you're a seller the user can actually issue a refund to the seller and the seller can have things like discounts. Later on, they're going to be working on things like MetaHuman, but right now it's only limited to Bridge. So let's actually talk about Quixel Bridge because Quixel Bridge was actually mentioned quite a bit in the live stream about Fab. Basically, Quixel Bridge is here to stay. They're not going to be getting rid of Quixel Bridge until Fab is a functional replacement. So currently, they're having issues uh, transferring ownership of assets from Quixel Bridge over to Fab. So they're just not going to be removing uh, Bridge at all right now at the current state because, as we all know, there's a lot of issues with Fab. Now, along with Quixel Bridge, they're going to be adding a lot of updates to the Quixel Megascans library of assets. Basically, Basically, they released the public roadmap for Megascans, which includes different assets that they want to scan and add. And so these are some of the assets that they want to add, asset packs, under consideration. So basically, they have to travel to these different locations and scan these. But you can see some of the different asset packs, like the abandoned gas station, uh, mud house ruins, parking garage. Uh, these are some of the things that they're looking at adding in the future. Some other stuff in progress, we can go to the in progress. This is what they're currently working on. You can see we have this new wood uh, construction pack, this Neo Renaissance building, uh, medieval weapons. So all of these packs are different things that they're currently working on and they're going to be releasing hopefully this year. So pretty interesting. Now with that, they have the ones that they currently have released, which you can actually download right now on Fab. So these are the different collections. Basically, they're going to be releasing them in bundles like so, where they're just collections of assets. And starting in 2025, the Megascans library is not going to be free. So if you haven't claimed them already, you want to make sure you claim them. But starting in 2025, when they release some of these new asset packs, uh, some of them will not be free. Uh, they're going to be doing limited time free drops in 2025. So it'll be sort of like free assets for the month. You can claim them and own them forever, but it'll be limited time and it won't be all of the packs that you see here. And another thing that they actually showcase on the live stream is this new Dark Ruins asset pack that will be completely free on Fab and release either sometime this month or next month. So pretty soon I'll do a full review video on that. And yeah, that is pretty much all the different updates on Fab as well as the Quixel Mega Scans roadmap. Let me know you guys' thoughts about this down in the comments down below. Hopefully they've taken all of our feedback and they're updating and addressing these features in the next updates to Fab and hopefully they can actually get it to a state where it's actually like the Unreal Marketplace. But yeah, let me know you guys' overall thoughts down in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.